we're doing. So I ordered a very high-end CO2 laser that I want to start designing things and selling in my Etsy shop. The reason I ordered this is first I got into 3D printing and I love it. I have only started that maybe four or five months ago. Started with a very cheap machine that got me interested and I bought a high-end machine and now I have about seven of them. That's why I went ahead and ordered a nice big one like this. Uh, the cutting and engraving area on this guy is 36 by 24. So quite a good size. Um, I started with an X-Tool D1 Pro, which is a 20 watt diode laser. And that was a great laser overall, but it was just too small for me. The maximum size you could do on that was maybe 16 by 16. And it wasn't very powerful, it was only 60 watts. This guy is 80 watts and CO2, so it can cut and engrave much, much quicker, cut much more materials, much thicker materials. And I just wanna go, kinda go big or go home, so. I like to just go ahead and spend the money up front and make it work. So I just got this delivered today. It took about two weeks to get here total time. I think it took a little bit longer because it was Thanksgiving week last week and that always puts a delay and stuff like this. So as you can see, it comes in this nice huge crate. I have already taken off just the top screws, which was probably about 15 or 20 of them. I'll just fill up set nice and easy. And then there's some other bolts and stuff I need to take off the sides and everything. But let me go and show you what I've seen so far while popping the list. This thing is very well packaged from what I can tell. Obviously it's in a crate, but I was expecting just to open it and see in the machine, but they have more cardboard, a lot more plastic, and I think it's gonna be very well packaged in here. So I'm gonna continue to take this all off. I'll probably do a uh, speed up here so you don't get bored with that. I'll get everything off, show you the machine, and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. I plan on having lots of videos about this. I'm gonna obviously show you now the unboxing, and then I'll do a separate video of where I'm setting it up, getting the whole thing up and running. And then of course, when I make projects, I'll share those with you. Let you know the difficulty of it, or if it's easy, hopefully easy, and you know where I sell it and if I make any profit on it. So pretty excited. So let me go ahead and finish taking all this stuff off. All right guys. There we have it with a power tool. Took, what, six, seven minutes or so to get the whole crate off. I can see some screws through the feet there. That's gonna help, you know, support it in the crate. So I gotta take those out. And then let's take off all this wrap and cardboard. And we'll kind of take a look at the machine. Let me take you guys around this real quick. You can see it's massive, 36 by 24. And uh, here it is with the door open, of course. And this film will peel off so you have a nice crystal clear glass. And um, I don't know if it's glass or plexi, I think plexi, but it is also fireproof. So once I peel that away, you'll get a great view of, you know, your stuff getting cut and engraved. So it does have a pass through right here. A couple of knobs you push in and pull down so you get a, a good pass through for a really large sheet. Here's your controls, emergency shut off, the laser switch so you do have to have a key to run it in case you have kids or something. Obviously you don't want them running a machine with a laser. And I'll go th over a lot more stuff when I do the review or my initial thoughts about it. But as you can see, it looks really well built. Tons of different cabinets and access points. This is how you get to the, the belts and all that on the side, as well as probably how you adjust the mirrors and all that. I'll go through that later. It's probably just the computers and motherboards. So this is one reason why I really wanted this model. This one has a water cooler built in the machine. 
almost all the other ones that I've seen, you have to have it on the side of the machine. Basically something about this size or the size of like a desktop computer. You gotta fill it up with water and maintain it outside of the machine. So the fact that this is built in is very, very cool to me. Here is the plugs. Of course you have it for your regular power for the whole machine and the power for the water chiller. And as well as everything else, it's got 110 volts. So it's gonna run off just your normal everyday outlet, which is great. I won't have to upgrade to a 220. Here's the exhaust fan. This is where you add water. And like I said, we'll go over all this in the review or first impressions video that I do. And then here's another side for the pass through. Wow, so you can really get a huge sheet in this. And then back here is the CO2 laser. This is the brains of this entire thing, basically. This is where you have to be very careful with everything you do on this thing. I'm not going to mess with any of this yet until I move it. My plan is to have it over in that corner where I already have a four inch exhaust out. I believe this is a six inch. So I'm going to have to make a bigger hole. And uh, yeah, this is very interesting to me. I hope this thing's as good as it looked. I've, I've watched other YouTube videos. And it seems like this is a great laser. So once again, this is a 80 watt. It says 90. Peak power, 100. Hmm. Anyone who has a laser, does yours say peak power 100 and uh, 90? Maybe this is a 90 or 100 watt, because they did have a 100 watt model. Maybe they sent me the 100. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Let's see. No, 80 watt, okay. That's okay, obviously. Um, wow, you can see this was just produced a couple months ago. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, guys. I am gonna hopefully make some really, really cool things with this. And I will take you guys along on the journey and tell you my honest opinion if I recommend this or not. And if it's learning curve is just crazy or what but quickly before we wrap up this initial video let's go through this stuff really quick so this is the duct exhaust as you can see that is i believe six inches so i'll either have to get a adapter i'm pretty sure i could do a four to six i think it would still blow out totally fine let me know in the comments if if i'm wrong about that or i could just go get a six inch hole saw and redo the hole that's easy enough and here are some accessories tape all the different allen wrenches you need silicone sealant you get glasses you get a usb to usb cable you get a long ethernet cable which that's probably how i'm going to run this and then two power cables and if there's anything else in there i'll let you know when i do my next video yeah, guys, I've been wanting one of these for a while, and if it wasn't for me being successful in my 3D printing, which I probably have like $5,000 worth of machines, and I've already sold that much to pay for the machines. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and buy this. This one is $4,500 on sale, and they just had a Black Friday that took like another $400 off, but I'm like, let's just go ahead and spend up I know I can make it work. Uh, my son is 13 now, almost 14. So I'm gonna try to get him into this with me. And you never know if, if it gets big enough, you know, he can learn this, design stuff, and make some good money at 13 years old. Um, so I'm hoping to get him involved with this as well. And I'm pretty sure he's going to. He seems kind of excited for it, so. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if there's any specific questions you have, definitely let me know down below and I will let you know or make a video for you and I'll go over everything else in the next video. I'll open all these doors and show you exactly what you get and, you know, show you the computers and all that. Um, the only other thing I got to do is take off these four bolts and then 
make these legs go higher, of course, so then the wheels touch. And then I'll roll it over to my final destination and uh, undo these to where it's level and not on the wheels anymore, of course. And that's pretty much all I gotta do for at least this portion. Um, I think, I'll be honest, I think the startup and the whole learning process of this is gonna be very difficult because I haven't really done a ton with the lasers. The other one I had, I've, I've made maybe 10 different things and they were very basic and easy to do. So we'll see, we'll see. Take this journey with me and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.